G'day Smoke and Dagger fans, let's talk barbecues. So as we can see here, we've got the 57 centimeter Weber Smoky Mountain, the biggest of their range. Starting at the top, traditional features, pump gauge, dual handles, vents. We open her up, large top grate, removable, and a secondary grate right underneath. Perfect for those big cooks. So underneath our two grates, we have a removable water bowl. A little pro tip for anyone who's interested or owns one of these, you can put aluminium foil over the top to keep yours clean. Airtight gap for putting in your temp probes. I love this, no matter what kind of temp probe you have, anyone fits through. Here we can see our firebox. So from here, you can chuck a hose in to fill up your water pan mid cook, wood, more charcoal down the bottom. Out. All right, here we can see our bottom segment. So this is where all your fuel and any of your wood's gonna sit. We have the ring for keeping everything nice and neat. So from here, you can use the minion method. You can also use a snake method. Three adjustable vents. One, two, three. Uh, so for complete control over temperature during a cook. this bad boy for a couple of years now as you can see from uh, a little bit of wear and tear and a bit of added flavor so what's this thing good for this thing is great for any low and slow i'm talking big briskets pork butts whatever you can think of a rack of lamb is it not good for it's not good for hot and fast for searing a tomahawk steak i would not recommend this this is a low and slow specialty machine sturdy construction weber makes some really good product here in australia the only other main competitor is the pro q but just keep in mind it's not a Weber. Would highly recommend as an intermediary barbecue.